Do you want to boost your FPS, fix lag, and have the same insane performance as Peterbot? In this video, I'm showing you his secret settings to get max FPS and thorough input delay in Fortnite even on low-end PCs and laptops. Stay with me and follow each step exactly to unlock your system's full power. Let's jump in and boost your game like a pro. Step 1. Unlocking all CPU processors for maximum performance for Fortnite. Sometimes, when your computer starts, it does not use all the CPU cores that are available. In this step, we are going to change a setting so Fortnite can use 100% of your CPU's power. First, press the Windows key on your keyboard and type System Configuration into the search bar. When it shows up, click on it to open. Now click on the Boot tab at the top and then click on the Advanced Options button. A new window will open. Inside this new window, check the box that says Number of Processors. Then click on the drop-down menu and select the highest number shown in the list. This number represents how many CPU cores your system has. Once you've selected it, click OK, then click Apply and close all windows. This will allow your PC to use all of its CPU cores right when it starts, helping Fortnite load faster, reduce lag, and run more smoothly, especially on low-end or budget PCs. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Setting Fortnite Process Priority for Maximum Performance You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we will tell Windows to give Fortnite more attention and power when the game is running. To do this, go to the folder named Fortnite Priority Manager which is already included in the optimization tools you downloaded. Inside this folder, you will see three different files named Fortnite Normal Priority, Fortnite Medium Priority, and Fortnite High Priority. If you are using a low-end or budget PC, double-click the file called Fortnite Normal Priority. If you have a mid-range PC, double-click Fortnite Medium Priority. And if your PC is high-end, double-click the file called Fortnite High Priority. If you ever want to return Fortnite back to its regular setting, you can double-click the Fortnite Normal Priority file again. After double-clicking any of the files, a message will appear asking for permission to make changes. Click Yes. This change will be saved, and from now on, your PC will always give Fortnite the correct amount of CPU power every time you launch the game. Step 3. Optimizing CPU usage for Fortnite using Run with Affinity. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make Fortnite use your CPU in a smarter way, we will use a tool called Run with Affinity. This tool lets you choose which CPU cores Fortnite will use so the game can run better. First, open the Run with Affinity tool. You don't need to install anything. Once the program opens, look for and select the Fortnite Launcher.exe file. After selecting the file, set the Affinity setting to the highest value available. This tells Fortnite to use your most powerful CPU cores. Next, set the run setting to maximized so the program runs in full performance mode. Once you have done these settings, create a shortcut using the tool. Now every time you want to play Fortnite, just use this shortcut to launch it with the best CPU settings. This step helps lower FPS drops and stuttering, especially during busy scenes or fights in the game on budget PCs. Step 4. Using NVIDIA Profile Inspector Settings for Fortnite You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. If your computer uses an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector to boost FPS and reduce input lag. This tool gives you access to hidden settings that you cannot find in the normal NVIDIA control panel. First, open NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and in the search bar at the top, type Fortnite. If you already downloaded my custom settings file from Discord, you can import it directly. If not, you can manually change the settings like this. Go to the anti-aliasing section and set Transparency Super Sampling to 0x Tetra 0 triple zero eight. Now go to the Texture Filtering section and make these changes. Turn on Driver Controlled LOD Set, LOD Bias DX and LOD Bias OGL to plus 3. These settings reduce tiny effects like shadows and grass, which helps your FPS increase. Then change negative LOD E bias to clamp and set texture filtering quality to high quality. Finally, go to power management mode and set it to optimal performance so your graphics card uses power more efficiently. Once you're done, click apply changes. These settings are perfect for weak PCs and help Fortnite run smoother and with fewer drops in FPS. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. 
On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Another good way to improve your computer's hardware performance and reduce input delay is by using a tool called MSI Utility. This tool helps your hardware and your Windows system communicate better. After downloading it, open the tool. You will see a list of all the devices connected to your PC. Find your graphics card, GPU, and tick the MSI box next to it. Then, set the interrupt priority to high. Next, find your integrated GPU, such as Intel Graphics, and do the same thing. Tick the MSI box and set the interrupt priority to high. After that, click Apply to save your changes and close the program. These settings help reduce input delay, improve system response time, and make Fortnite gameplay feel smoother, especially on slower computers. Step 6. Improve CPU performance using Throttle Stop for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To get even more power out of your CPU while playing Fortnite, we will use a tool called Throttle Stop. First, go to your Tools folder, open the Throttle Stop folder, and double-click on throttlestop.exe to open it. When it opens, you will see different performance plans like Performance Mode, Game Mode, Internet Mode, and Battery Mode. Choose the one called Game Power Plan and check the box next to High Performance. This setting tells your CPU to always focus on performance. Now look at the sections labeled Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings, but do not change anything in those. Instead, just check the box labeled Disable Turbo. This helps your CPU run at a stable speed and stops it from overheating or slowing down unexpectedly. Now click the button called Turn On, then click Save. Keep Throttle Stop running in the background while gaming. This will help your CPU stay fast, stable, and responsive while playing Fortnite. Step 7. Boost Windows Performance with Chris Titus Tech. Utility for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make Windows faster and remove background services that use your CPU, we are going to use the Chris Titus Tech Utility. This tool stops unnecessary processes and frees up CPU power. First, open your FPS Boost Pack and look for the text file with the special code inside it. Open the file and copy all of the code. Next, go to the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, then right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. In the PowerShell window, paste the code you copied, then press Enter. This will launch the Chris Titus Tech Utility tool. Once the tool opens, click on the tab called Tweaks. You will see two main presets. Minimal. Turns off only unnecessary features, but keeps your system safe and functional. Standard. Turns off more background services and gives more performance improvement. The tool will create a system restore point before making any changes, so you can undo everything if needed. After choosing your preset, click Run Tweaks and wait for it to finish. Then close the program. This will reduce background processes, lower CPU usage, and help Fortnite run better and faster on low-end systems. Step 8. Disabling HPET to prevent stuttering and FPS drops. There is a Windows feature called HPET, High Precision Event Timer, that sometimes causes stuttering and FPS issues during gameplay. To disable it, right-click on the Start button and select Device Manager. In Device Manager, scroll down and click on System Devices to expand the list. Look for High Precision Event Timer, HPET, in that list. Right-click on HPET and choose Disable. Sometimes HPET causes lag or choppy performance, so disabling it can improve how smooth your game feels and remove random FPS drops caused by background timing errors. If this guide helped you boost FPS and fix lag in Fortnite, make sure to click the like button, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more PC optimization tips. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.